Alright guys, just got done watching Smackdown on Fox. I'm fucking absolutely wrecked, so this review is not going to go much longer than a couple of minutes. Uh, just basically straight to the point here. I thought it was a decent show. I thought it was better than Raw, and I thought it was better than AEW Dynamite. There were some moments in the show that I actually really enjoyed. Like, uh, it's great to see the rock back. We had Tyson Fury, the... Uh, heavyweight champion of the world, the lineal heavyweight champion of the world and he was squaring up to Braun Strowman calling him a big dosser, that was great, Tyson Fury is the man I wish they had to give him a live mic but uh, it's probably not smart for WWE to do that there could be several lawsuits if they did because you never know what Tyson's going to do I mean I'd love that to end up being a match at Mania 36 but I mean if not it was just nice to see Tyson Fury you know, in WWE in some capacity, although it would be great if they could do something male. Uh, the ladder match between Shane McMahon and Kevin Owens was actually alright, it was decent. I thought the people getting that storyline shit, I mean, I, I, I actually prefer shit storylines over no storylines, and let's be honest, WWE very rarely give you any storylines, at least that was a storyline. People didn't like it, but hey, it was what it was, so uh, Shane McMahon is apparently now terminated. Don't know whether he'll turn up on Raw now or... It did say Terminator for WWE, it didn't say SmackDown, so... Maybe she man just needs some time off, and to be honest, it's probably not a bad thing for him. I mean, he has been around pretty much non-stop for the last few years. Uh, main event, Brock Lesnar defeated Kobe Kingston in, like, about seven seconds. Uh, I guess Vince McMahon didn't pay Lesnar enough to, to work a proper match. Maybe he was only paying him like an extra million and Lesnar's like, right, well, that'll buy you about eight seconds or that'll buy you an F5 and a cover. So, uh, great. And then after the match, you know, I was kind of happy that they took the belt off Kingston. Then you hear Rey Mysterio's music, man, and I'm excited because obviously, you know, Brock Lesnar battered his son. And it was going to be interesting to see how Rey Mysterio, you know, responded to this. I thought Rey Mysterio should have responded on Raw. I thought he should have came back to the arena to uh, attack Lesnar, but he didn't. But I thought, hey, at least we're going to get it on SmackDown. And we don't even get Rey Mysterio, we get fucking flabby Cain Velasquez. Now, this Cain Velasquez guy, he doesn't look like a star, guys, and he doesn't look like a tough guy either. Now, I'm not fucking denying he can fight, he could probably bar me, but I'm just not buying him as this, you know, guy that Brock Lesnar should be afraid of. Yes, he beat Lesnar back in the UFC days, but let's be honest, Lesnar was ill back then, he wasn't fully fit. There's no way uh, a fully fit Brock Lesnar loses to Cain Velasquez, and... You just look at this Cain Velasquez, there's nothing about him, he just what at first I actually thought it was Dominic. I thought Dominic had, <laughs> yeah, for the first couple of seconds I thought maybe, you know, Dominic and Ray were back for the hospital and, because he was wearing like a knee brace, he was like wearing like a knee brace on his jeans and I thought that was Dominic selling the attack on Lesnar, so I thought Dominic had just shaved his hair and Ray and Dominic were going to tr come down and try and take Lesnar to him one, but nah, it was Cain Velasquez, so that's how much he, that's how much pish this guy is, I actually thought it was Ray's son, but... Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed. When I heard Ray's music, I got excited. I thought, yes, here we're going to go, man, Ray. The little the little underdog's going to come out and, you know, try and attack. Uh, Lesnar didn't happen. We just got like, a, a little bit of a brawl, then Lesnar runs away. I thought it made Lesnar look incredibly weak. You've just had him win the title in seven seconds, but then he's, he's running away if he, you know, came for last guess. I just, I, I thought that was pretty poor. And yeah, the opening segment was great with The Rock and Corbin. I mean, Becky Lynch, I think, ruined it. I mean, it wasn't a worst performance, but I think the opening segment would have been better with it, Becky Lynch, but uh, the, the comment about Tesco's being bigger than Corbin's was pretty good. I'll give her that, man. That was a decent line. As for the rest, man, uh, they had the Firefly Funhouse, which was it was weird, man. It was, you know, he'd, he'd, uh, the rabbit getting torn up. and But uh, I don't know, man. I, 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 I kind of want to try and like this Firefly Funhouse, but at the end of the day, man, it just, it's fucking puppets with your kid. No, it's something you'd expect to see on, you know, CBBs or something like that, man. It's not something you expect to see in a wrestling ring. Uh, that was pretty much it, though. The rest of the show wasn't that good. Well, I mean, there was a lumberjack match between Ronan and, uh, not Ro yeah, Ronan and uh, Reigns, which was already right, ended, and Daniel Bryan helped Reigns handshake, so they all went to the tag match that Sunday. Seth Rollins and Nakamura was interrupted by uh, by uh, the Fiend. Overall, man, it wasn't wasn't a bad show. I just thought they might have been a bit male, considering it was you know the debut on Fox. And um, I'm just surprised with the end. And you know, to have Lesnar win back the title and then book him to be cowardly, run the way for you know Cain Velasquez, who was fucking flabby and out of shape. And I mean, you're looking at Cain Velasquez, you're looking at Brock Lesnar, man. There's only one winner. Yeah. 
people say looks can be deceiving. Nah, man, you'll know that uh, Cain Velasquez would get his ass handed to him if he <laughs> if he attacked Brock. So, uh, aye, man, there you go. I mean, best show, best wrestling show of the week. I think pretty easily hand down. But I, I guess I was kind of expecting more, so I am a wee bit disappointed. Similar to AEW Dynamite, I was expecting it to be better than it was. Not that Dynamite was a horrible show, I just thought it was pretty bang average, you know, considering what I was expecting. The same with this Smackdown, it was, it was above average, but I was expecting it to be pretty good, you know. I thought we might have got more stuff. Uh, Randy Orton tweeted about facing The Rock earlier at Mania 36, two third generation guys going and then Orton did nothing here tonight, I thought there was no interaction between Orton and The Rock and uh, all Orton did was in a, you know, a jobber eight man tag, which I didn't even mention, I think it was Orton, the tag champs, Sigler, Rude and AJ versus Strowman and I, t I don't even remember the rest, that's how bad it was. So just pretty irrelevant. So I mean, yeah, it was good parts of the show. Great to see the Rock back. Nice to see Tyson Fury. I'm glad Lesnar's the champion again. The ladder match was decent, but you know there was also some things that pissed me off, and especially the Cain Velasquez thing. Absolutely gutted about that. People might be marking over Cain Velasquez. I'm certainly not. And that's it, guys. I'll give this SmackDown. A, I'll give it a. I'll give it a. Oh fuck me! What do you what do you give it? I'll give it a six out of ten. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. And I think I'm being kind. I'm giving it a 6 out of 10. I think I'm being kind. Um, the reason... I was going to give it a 5, but man, Tyson Fury on camera calling Braun Strowman a big doss off. I mean, that, that wins it for me, man. So I'll bump up an extra one for that. So you go 6 out of 10 for SmackDown on Fox. And uh, it's probably downhill for you here, guys. This is probably as good as the show's going to get. So if it's only getting a 6 out of 10 on the debut show, what's that saying going forward? Because you can guarantee uh, they won't be pulling out all the stops. You know, week in, week out. There was also, like, Flair and Hogan were here as well. He'd Mick Foley and Kurt Angle. But, again, <sighs> it's nice to see these guys, but in what capacity? You know, just, just showing someone standing in the front row is... You know, I mean, it's, it doesn't really do much for you. You know, if I wanted to look at fucking Mick Foley, I could go on Twitter and look at a picture of him or go on Ric Flair's Instagram and look at a picture of Ric Flair, you know? So that, I don't see how much that adds to the show, so... Even though there was a lot of legends on the show, unless they're actually getting involved in some capacity, rather than just standing there in the front row, it's hard to really boost the rating or enjoy the show because of that. Anyway, guys, that's it, man. Till next time, let me know what you thought of the uh, show. And from a, a rating predicting, I think that this is going to draw... I know, I'm being very... I don't know, I think 2.4 now. I know a lot of people are expecting this to get into the freeze and I think Fox themselves said they want a 4.5. I just don't think this show is going to they well, I don't. So I'm going to go a 2.4 with just a, probably around 3 million fuels. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but that's what I think it's going to be. Anyway, guys, till next time. Peace.